I'm looking for Kelly Donnelly. He's not home. Uh, you know where I can find him? Beats me. You his wife? Am I wearing a ring? You see him? Tell him to head on down to the police station. Yeah, he's gonna do that. All right. If you hear from him, could you have him give me a call? Listen, he called me yesterday and said I might need to pick up his truck. I tried calling back and got no answer. Is that usual, not hearing from him? That's what's weird. Kelly is completely unreliable, but he always seems to keep tabs on me. So who knows? You think you're close with someone, and the next thing, there's someone completely different. Right. Well, maybe if you pay closer attention. Maybe if you go screw yourself. Uh, uh... <sighs> nice. Any leads? No. Ma? Is there something you want to talk to me about? About the case? No. About you. What's been going on with you? Did something happen at school? No. Well, you know you can talk to me about anything, right? <laughs> yeah. Anything except police work. Okay, I give. Let's talk about my work. So, uh, I think we got it from here. You can go, thank you. That tattoo? His girlfriend has the same one. I can tell you who the victim is. Oh. Kelly Donnelly, small time carjacker. I just spoke to his girlfriend. She hasn't seen him since last night. We have an eyewitness spotting him earlier today in a late model BMW. That same car was reported stolen yesterday from Harrington as part of an escape by one of their patients. Why don't I have this info? No, I'm sorry, please, go on. Rebecca Mayer, I think we should put an APB out on her right away. I may have another gang-related murder here, so I can't really be wasting resources on some, <laughs> some mental patient who happened to get carjacked. Right. Rebecca Mayer, she should be a suspect, sir. Rebecca Mayer believes that her daughter is still alive. And the men she's been targeting, well, let's just say they're not exactly the wholesome types. That she thinks by killing these guys, she's keeping her daughter safe. It sounds like you can almost relate. I'm a mother, yes. But just because these guys are low lives and criminals doesn't mean they deserve to die.